Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader once again uh, with another video, three winning trades out of three. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to day trade. And as I say, always simplicity and consistency is the key. Now, once again, we're only gonna be trading here two contracts. So this is what we do in our room, no matter which markets we're uh, trading. But for the particularly the young guns watching this, now what if it was 10 or 20 contracts? The amount of contracts, well, providing the market of course can handle it. If you're trading the market we're looking at, no problems with 20 contracts or the ES or, or gold or oil, it really doesn't matter. But as I say, let me teach you how to day trade the right way the first time. So first of all, uh, there is a risk in trading. Uh, you please feel free to pause the disclaimer, uh, or pause the video, I should say, to read the disclaimer. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Most importantly, start on the simulator. Once you've mastered uh, the setups on the simulator, then you can go live. And traders, uh, the bottom line is virtually every trading platform now will allow you to trade on the simulator before you go live. That's the best way to get underway. Now also, I, in these sessions, I refer to uh, my trading income calculator. So the calculator I use, and which we'll be talking about very quickly in a moment, you can download a free copy of it, plus the training video on how to correctly use the income calculator. Okay, so it'll actually show you based upon your daily net profits, based upon how much per contract you're allowing, and once you, each time you double your money, how quickly you can get to your income target. Now, for an example here, say if you're trading oil. Now, uh, with oil, if you're using, say, a 12 tick stop loss, that's $120. Okay, remember, we always follow the 2% maximum rule. We never risk any more than 2%. So on 6,000, I could have or have up to a $120 stop loss. By the way, we like to have it smaller, but if need be. So based upon starting my account with 6,000 and I average $300 a day, which an experienced trader can romp that in on CL, down here, I've got the potential within 11 weeks of being, of being able to earn 10,000 a week trading eight contracts, actually 11,000 a week on eight contracts. Now, how this calculator works, it only starts or you only actually add your second contract once you double your money. So by the time you get to trading eight contracts, your account size is actually 54,000. So what we're actually doing here, we're using the market's money. Now, say if you've got only five or $600 to start off with. Well, if you've only got five or $600, there's lots of other options. So these are all tools that I provide my members. You start from there and you'll be blown away by the compound effect if you trade properly, and what I see, mean by that, use the market's money. Okay, so you start small, within you know, 20, 30 weeks, you'll be amazed where you can be, never risking any more than 2%. So there's a ton of different markets, whether it be futures, Forex or stocks. What you have to be aware of, of course, of stocks, with stocks, is the pattern trading rule. And so that's one of the greatest challenges that stock traders have. But if you've only got, say, $1,000, you can start, start on Forex, the MES, the micro NQs. There's lots of markets now that you can um, start small and build from there. But that's a reality here. Now, for the young guns in the room, look where you can be there trading 100 lots. Now, realistically, the markets you'd have to be trading that on would be, say, the ES, uh, oil, uh, the NQ. So there are some restrictions there. Okay, so I know you can't really live on 100 grand a week, but you can pay a few bills. But realistically, if um, uh, you know, 5,000 a week uh, is, a, is really is a game changer for virtually every single trader. Now, before we get to the charts, and I know you've probably seen many of my videos, I bring this up. Once you understand how the indicators work, it's not rocket science, you'll actually see it's really quite simplistic. Okay, and that is really important. Don't get caught up with it. You've got to have all these 
multi-level Fibonacci confluence level indicators and goes on and on and on. Okay. Um, uh, any, <laughs> I think uh, Richard Branson said it well, any fool can make something complicated. So I think that says it all. Now also something which is really important and you know what, I lose a lot of traders. I've got over, trained over 10,000 traders now. I've got hundreds in my live trading rooms and in the coaching classes is that, um, you know, everyone wants to get rich quick and it just doesn't happen. It's hard to get rich fast, but it's easy to get rich slow trading the financial markets. That is setting realistic targets. So what's a realistic target? Well, today, once again, we're going to be looking at the 6E, which is a currency futures market, a contract. So whether you trade the 6E or the 6J, well actually, um, uh, really you could be trading the ES provided your risk is not more than $50. So that's the, the key factor here traders. We never risk any more than 2%. So hence when I showed you on that table back here, $6,000 uh, trading say oil or the ES during the New York hours because you, you need a larger stop loss. Now don't get caught up in the hype that hang on, my broker says he has day trading margins on the ES of only $500. Yes, that may be so, but if you're trading a contract and your risk is $100, you've just dropped 20% of your account. So these are the important things and this is where traders, you know, a lot of them, a lot of traders won't join my classes because they, you know, it's, it's unconservative, but you know what, it means you're going to stay in the business. You're, you're going to be successful in the business. That's the difference. Okay, so what's a realistic target? We're going to be going for between 100 a day and 150 a day. That's extremely realistic on the market. I'm going to be showing you with a maximum of $50 stop loss. Now here's the bottom line of that. That's 20% per week to 30% per week. But, you know, and then you go and have the compound effect on the trade here that I just showed you, it's huge. But so many traders want to risk five to 10%. That's the shame of it all. Now, how are we going to do it? Because I'm going to be showing you three trades out of three. Well, it's really simple. First of all, to net 100 a day, uh, only one is to aim for three seven tick trades a day net. Okay, so that's after any losses, three net trades a day. Now, I actually go for eight ticks per trade, unless I've got something in front of me like a pivot or an open high, low or close, or if there's exceptional reasons. And I'll sometimes go for a larger move under specific circumstances. Um, so, and my break even by the way, is at plus six ticks. But here, if you were to average seven ticks, so that would mean seven ticks. And just to show you this, and of course, um, I'm not going to get into a big sale why you should join me and whatever as a member, but basically you get all of these cheat sheets, there's hundreds of, do well, dozens of them. There's over 40 PowerPoints you get, but don't feel overwhelmed with that. I'm teaching you starting from the basics. So anyway, here on seven ticks, that's $43, eight ticks, which is what I'm going for per contract. And I think I already mentioned here, I only trade two lots in front of members because I'm talking and trading at the same time. My job in the room is to teach traders how to start with a small account and how to build that account into a large account. Now, I only need three net trades a day after commissions. That's 116. Remember I'm after 100 net. Now, ideally I want to get my 150. And if you're putting two hours a day in, during peak times, you should be achieving that with experience. Now, just subject to sometimes the markets will die for an hour or two, particularly if you've say got the Fed speakers coming on or with some major red flag news announcement. But here, if you want to average 150 a day, that's four seven tick trades a day. That's 175 minus your commissions, that's 155. Okay, so it's extremely realistic. Now, what if then you want to be earning five grand a week? Now, for a lot of people I say, oh, I could never do that. Traders, do you know all that is on this particular market we're looking at today? That's 10 lots, 10 contracts, buy only $100 a 
a day. That's all you're looking at to achieve that. You know, one incredible thing is, as you build your account to $25,000, um, that's what you're, you know, that's the true potential of this market. If you do it correctly, and if you follow the trend. Now, once again, if we get back to this table here, 25,000 right from the outset, if you're, if you're starting off, my apologies, with 2,500 a day, you're there within, okay, 14 weeks, 15 weeks, you're earning your five grand a week. Starting off with that and only adding an additional contract when you double your money. Now, you will hear me say this regularly. What if you already have 20 or 30 or $100,000? Start on a small contract, make all the mistakes you're going to make. You know, it's easy. Sometimes you'll press buy when you're meant to be selling. Uh, sometimes you'll, you know, you might have the wrong market up. You know, look, it's so easy. So you make all the mistakes you're going to make trading one lot or a, or a micro lot. And after four to six weeks, you say, okay, I'll put my big boy pants on now and I'll jump up and I'll start trading my five lots instead of one. But what you've done then, you've earned the right to do that. Now, as we go to the charts, the other important thing, which I know I sound like a broken record on this point for those that are members that are watching this, trade with the trend only. Yes, I take CT trades, but I've been doing it a long time, 28 years, and I'm good at it. But I've had the experience, I recognize the patterns. Now, it's so much easier to trade with the trend because on average, 80% of the time, the trend will continue. Start here and build from there. Once you master trend trading, then you may consider counter trend trades, but only then. Okay, so very, very important. Remember the Goldilocks rule, keep it simple, okay? Very important. So let's now go and have a look at this here. So what we're looking at, uh, once again, if you saw my video from yesterday, um, actually uh, where I had six winners out of seven, I mean, and I mentioned I don't trade the open. And here's a great example here where the open, the London open, uh, turned 9 a.m., just turned on a dime. I call it the killing field. Okay, so some days the trend will continue, no problem, but other times it will spin right on the hour and trade in a different direction. So you just want to be uh, very, very cautious uh, with that. So what we want to do is follow the cloud. So here for an uptrend, I've got the blue, I've got the orange for a downtrend. And as we then come down here, we're making new lower lows. The footprints to a trend are when you're making lower lows and lower highs, lower low. And we have a setup called a T20-1. Fantastic setup for identifying reversals. So I entered that trade. Now, normally speaking, and this is a 200 EMA down here, uh, Normally speaking, I go to break even at plus six and I'll lock in one or two ticks of profits. In fact, this then hit plus seven. And this is one of the rare one, rare occasions where uh, on my ATM, my dome, it automatically goes to break even plus one. I lifted the order back up again because the chances of coming down here and, and kissing, uh, remember I'm also looking at a higher time frame, a very, very high. So then I ended up getting, instead of just getting one or two ticks out of that, because it would have come up, see that there would have come up and stopped me out. I ended up getting my full eight ticks. So it was a nice little trend trade. Now down here, this is a trade, and I should just explain to, um, to new viewers here, uh, I'm always firing these off, usually at or why I'm doing live trading or in the live trading room. In this case, this is just before the live room started. So I'm getting the room ready. So I'm not on every trade. And this is where I mentioned that you should be doing a hell of a lot better than the results I show in these sessions because I'm not focused. I'm getting things ready for our live trading room. So here was what we call a classic 2B. And remember your highest probability trade is gonna be your 2Bs. Now, there we had a 2B and here 
was one that I did jump on straight after. I had a 3B straight after that, a nice trend following 3B and thank you very much. I picked up uh, my eight ticks out of that one. Now this little green line up here and a couple of things I like to point out which are really important. See how price turned just there. This blue line here, this is what we call a floor pivot. It's what we call a predictive indicator. And so it's based on yesterday's price action, floor pivots, uh, all the professionals, we all trade pivot points, okay? Because you go up there and you bounce off pivots. Look at this here, day in, day out, okay? And so there's a technique we use to trade pivots. Up here, this um, green line up here, this line green, this is the high of the session, of this trading session. They also become known as price magnets. Don't be put off by the terminology I may use. Once you understand, it's pretty straightforward. Now, as we then come up, I now then had what we call a 2DA just here. And this is gonna be a counter trend trade. Now, the A means that it's a 2D, I've got at least two divergences. And the A means it's an A class because I have divergence on one of my higher time frames. Okay, so I actually had some here a T19 is where you have divergence, a little bit of divergence. We call that a T19. But then I had major divergence, and away I went straight down to the 200. So that was three out of three. Um, so that was, by the way, that's 300 net, that's 271 um, $271.88 in, what's that? Uh, in 25 minutes, okay? So remember what's your goal, what's a great goal. When you get your account to 5,000 or even at 2,500, 150 a day, okay? That is a great target. Then straight after that, we had a 3B. Now with that 3B, if we had have taken that 3 to B, we would have been stopped on that 3B, okay? But then we come down here and we had, um, we have a setup called a bet the farm, um, bit of tongue in cheek, but it kicks butt. And then we also had a 2B straight after that. Thank you very much. And then we had a T10 and away we went. Um, and so then, and then you had a T, uh, here's another one, another 2B that hit nine ticks. Traders, this is not rocket science. It truly isn't. All of these are patterns. All of these are patterns. Now, if you go and read Mark Douglas's book, uh, The Disciplined Trader, I think it's page 271. As he advises every new trader, and Mark Douglas is probably the greatest trading psychology, unfortunately he passed away far too early a few years ago now. But as he would say, the best way to master the art of day trading is to um, find one pattern. Learn how to trade a pattern, not one that's mathematical, the one that's a visual pattern. Now the two and three Bs, once you understand how they work, they kick butt, okay? Now you, you're gonna have losses, but they kick butt day in, day out on virtually any market. Now, uh, one thing I failed to say at the start of this particular video, and by the way, I'll just mention this one here, is that um, uh, here I'm using Renko, but you can use tick charts, range charts, time-based charts, it really doesn't matter. Um, for newer traders, Renko are great because it smooths out price action and it's ideally suited to some of their setups. It just makes it very, very easy to identify where to enter and where to put your stop loss. Now I will just um, mention here a T3. A T3 is a kick but strategy, and it's called a mean reversion or a reversion or even a snapback trade. And you get that when you get a major angulation and a major move. Now, don't be fooled um, uh, by the angle. Now, here in this case, uh, I wouldn't have taken this one. And here is one where it was fast. Most T3s you have set up 
are not fast and you've got plenty of time to get in them and you'll have a great move. So it's called a snapback or a reversion to the mean trade. So traders, well, I will wrap this up here. Yeah, so um, as I mentioned, please subscribe to my channel so we can keep you updated. Uh, make sure you download uh, my compound calculator and I'll send you the video on how to actually use it. Better still, come and join me as a member. For $197, you get uh, all of my cheat sheets, all of my PowerPoints, all of my indicators are free. Uh, and on top of that, you can also attend eight of my live coaching sessions that I run 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Tuesday and Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you can't attend the live sessions, they are recorded. And the purpose of those sessions is to teach you step by step how to day trade, how to use um, where to enter, where to place your stop loss, and where to exit. So traders, this isn't rocket science. It's simply about learning how to trade rules-based strategies. So glad you enjoyed it. And uh, once again, subscribe to my channel, better still become a member. And uh, I look forward to preparing another video for you. Thank you, traders.